Hi everyone, this is Louise Corrin, the Events and Marketing Manager for Australia and New Zealand. I thought I would put together a little information video about our upcoming Queenstown, New Zealand trip. So wanted to run through about the Sapphire Leaders Retreat and the incentive trip, just so you fully understand what will be happening, what's going on, everything you need to know. So let's move on forward. Of course, we've got our Sapphire Leaders Retreat in Queenstown, New Zealand from Monday the 17th to Wednesday the 19th of October. Qualifications are still happening at this time. So you've got until the 31st of July this year to qualify. All you need to do to qualify is achieve the rank of new Sapphire Executive between the 1st of February 2021 and the 31st of July. Invitations will be for you and one guest sharing a room. Or if you're an existing Sapphire Executive and above and you achieve 20 plus cycles, between the 1st of November 2021 and 31st of July 2022, you'll receive an invitation for one. Um, if you'd like to bring extra guests, that's fine. Um, just let me know and we can arrange in regards to what the payments will be. The agenda for the Sapphire Leaders Retreat. Of course, we have you arriving in on Monday, the 17th of October, and we will be doing registration at the hotel's lobby between 2 and 6 p.m. Um, and then at 6.30 p.m., we'll be heading down to the Ridges Red Bar, and we're going to have a cocktail event there to welcome you all into beautiful Queenstown. Then on the Tuesday, we're going to have a full training day. Now we have been, we have hired a workshop facilitator who will be coming in and doing the training. And what we have installed for that particular workshop is something you do not want to miss. It's very interesting and fascinating with the way he's put this workshop together. So it will definitely be something that will help you, not, in, not only individually, but also as a team. So that was definitely not to be missed. And that night then, once after we finish the training for the day, we will then be heading up to the skyline for dinner. Now, this dinner will be combined. So it will be the farewell dinner for the Sapphire Leaders Retreat, but then it will be the welcome dinner as well for all the incentive trip uh, distributors that are arriving as well. Now, if you have not qualified for the incentive trip, you will be departing on Wednesday, the 19th of October. But of course, those people who are staying on for the incentive trip, I'll explain things a little bit more. Now, if we do have availability for the incentive trip and you would like to request to pay to stay on, please do contact me and I can see what we can do. It will be subject to availability and I will have to assign all of the incentive trip qualifiers first before I can approve you to stay on and pay extra. Of course, our incentive trip will follow the Sapphire Leaders Retreat, and that will be from Tuesday the 18th to Saturday the 22nd of October. You will all arrive in, if you're not already there, of course, already for the Sapphire Leaders Retreat, um, but you'll arrive in on Tuesday the 18th of October and check into the Holiday Inn Express. Um, and you'll meet us in the lobby and we'll be able to help you out with your check-ins. And of course, as I mentioned earlier about the Sapphire Leaders Retreat, Tuesday the 18th of October is the welcome dinner for the incentive trip, incentive trip, but of course we have combined it with the farewell dinner of the Sapphire Leaders Retreat. So 
both groups will come together as one and we'll all meet up in this wonderful location overlooking Queenstown and all the spectacular mountains. So it will be a fun night um, for that particular night. Um, you'll be dressed casual for this one because there will be a little bit of an extra activity that you'll be able to do, which are the luge rides. rides. Um, so the little, they look like little go-karts go as such that go down the mountain um, as well. So if you feel that you're up to doing something like that, then you've got an option to participate in a ride before enjoying your evening uh, with everyone else in the room. Then on Wednesday, the 19th of October, the incentive trip tours begin. We start off with the Dart River Adventures, which uh, is an amazing adventure on a jet boat heading through all the water that's only like a couple of centimetres deep. But the scenery is absolutely amazing. As well, the boat ride is surprisingly very smooth. I was very surprised when we had our Famil last year at how smooth these boats are. Um, so Lisa, who came along with me as well, she even gets seasick and she was really good on it. So she was quite surprised at herself. But the day will be spectacular, um, the views, and also we will be enjoying lunch at um, a local restaurant where the Dart River um, cruises all depart as well. Then on Thursday, the 20th of October, we will be heading on the TSS Enslaw for a cruise across the lake um, to head to Walter Peak High Country. At this location, we will be able to, to relax, explore the gardens, check out the animals, but also enjoy a beautiful lunch together in the homestead. So this will be a nice, relaxing, cruisy day um, and cause Again, the spectacular views as you go along um, on the cruise as well, checking everything out. Uh, perfect day also if you're bringing your children along, they'll love this location. Friday the 21st of October, we will be venturing off and doing a fall drive tour. Um, you'll be adventuring off where we'll um, be checking out Skipper's Canyon and Mace Town and to the Lord of the Rings locations all around the place as well. And you'll also enjoy a lunch in Arrowtown. You'll be able to also have a wander around all the little cute shops there as well. Um, and it's a beautiful village with um, plenty to see and do. Our final night as well on Friday the 21st of October will not disappoint. This is a night that we will get all dressed up in our formal gear and we'll be off to the Stone Ridge Estate. It's an amazing venue. It's on the other side of Queenstown, so the view is something different again. But on sunset, as you can see from this picture, it will be an amazing location to end our evening. It will be on a sit-down dinner as well, and there'll be live entertainment. So we'll be able to dance the night away and enjoy our final night in Queenstown together. Of course, checkout will happen on Saturday, the 21st of October, um, and checkouts for 11 a.m. Of course, you're more than welcome to stay on in Queenstown, whether it's at the Holiday Inn or one of the other locations um, in Queenstown. If you'd like to stay on, we do have special rates for the Holiday Inn. You'll be able to find all that information out in the email blast that has been sent out, and it has all the details that you need to know. And let me just now run through the agenda breakdown for both trips so you really are clear on what we're doing, especially if you are attending both events. Of course, you if for those ones who are arriving in on this for the Sapphire Leaders Retreat who are qualified for that, check in, of course, is Monday the 17th of October. And then the welcome cocktail party will be at the Ridges Red Bar. Tuesday, the 18th of October. We'll, you'll have breakfast at leisure, um, that's included in your cost of your stay as well, and then we'll be heading down for a full day training day at Ridges Hotel as well. 
And then, of course, this will be the arrival for all the incentive trip group as well on the Tuesday. Um, so if anyone in the incentive trip who didn't qualify for the Sapphire Leaders Trip, today, Tuesday, the 18th of October, is the day that you arrive. And then, of course, we do the dinner um, all together up at the skyline. So that's the combined farewell dinner for the Sapphire Leaders Retreat qualifiers and the welcome dinner for the incentive trip qualifiers. Wednesday, the 19th of October, you'll enjoy, of course, breakfast at leisure in the morning. And this is the day the Sapphire Leaders Retreat qualifiers who have not qualified to attend the incentive trip will depart. Um, but then, of course, the incentive trip qualifiers will take off and start one of their tours. On this particular night for the incentive trip group, dinner is at, at your leisure and is it at your own expense as well. Thursday, the 20th of October, of course, you'll have breakfast again in the morning and then we'll be heading off for lunch at Walter Peak Homestead. Dinner that night is, a, is at leisure and at your own expense. Friday, the 21st of October, again, breakfast is included. And then we'll be having lunch at the in Arrowtown. Um, you'll have two groups there. So you'll either be having lunch first then going on to your full drive, drive tour, or you could be doing um, your tour first and then finishing with lunch. Uh, then the farewell dinner will be at the Stone Ridge Estate that night. And the final checkout, you have breakfast in the morning on Saturday, the 22nd of October, and then the incentive trip qualifiers depart. In the email blast that has been sent out, you will see how much it is to bring along extra guests if you're wanting to. Um, I'll have it all clearly, it's all clearly stated in this flyer that you'll see in the email blast. It will state how much it is to uh, bring an extra uh, guest for winners of one or two or whatever your qualifying results were in the end. This is the breakdown of the cost that you can look at. It's in New Zealand dollars and Australian dollars as well. If you're confused or have any questions, please shoot me an email and I can confirm the pricing for you. The pricing uh, for the extra guests is uh, needed uh, within three days of completing and sending through your registration forms. Um, and we need payment by either by credit card or you can do a bank transfer as well. But all that information, how to do and what you need to do is located in the email blast. As I was saying, the information from this email blast, we have lots of different links that you can click on to view everything you need to know. Um, we have the places to visit in Queenstown. This is a great guide to lots of local restaurants, day spas, activities, nightclubs, bars, everything you need to know. Of course, I want to stress if you want to go to some of these top restaurant locations, do book in advance, even before you arrive to Queenstown. If you can book online for a, a dinner, I would definitely do it because I have been told some of these places book out weeks, if not months in advance. So do look at that plenty early so you don't get disappointed on your nights that you have dinner to yourselves. Um, I'm missing on some of these places that are recommended. Same goes for the day spas, a couple of them as well. They can book out many months in advance, especially. So do check out that um, information by clicking onto that link. Um, we have a link that goes through to optional activities. This includes all the extra fun things that you can do around Queenstown, whether it's on one of your afternoons um, that you're not part of the tour because we've got a couple of days that kind of the half days, um, or if you're staying on in Queenstown, you know, these are great optional extras that you can book and pay for you, yourself. So all the information about those activities, the costs and how to book are in that flyer there. Um, we also have a guide to New Zealand. So this guide goes through basically all of New Zealand and Queenstown. So if you're planning to make this a real big trip and go for a, a couple of weeks and tour the rest of New Zealand, this guide is what you want to check out. 
Um, of course, what I ran through earlier with what was included, what meals and what was happening, um, check out again what meals are included by clicking on that link in the email blast. Of course, the itinerary to the events will be in the email blast. So click there to check that out. Um, your trip policies, also the cost to bring your extra guests will also be there. And of course, to register today. So if you have qualified for the incentive trip and Sapphire retreat already, and you know you have, then you can click and register today. That one form will include your registration for both the incentive trip and the Sapphire retreat. But if you're still waiting to see if you're going to qualify for the um, um, Sapphire Leader Street, you can still complete the form and you can put a note on there saying, I hope to qualify and I'll keep on looking for you. And as soon as I see you in the qualifications and I can shoot you an email so we can finalize your reg registration as well. Flight vouchers. So for those who have earned a flight voucher and are wanting to bring additional guests to join you on the trip, you can put the flight voucher value towards these costs. So please note on the registration form if you are paying for an extra guest via your flight voucher funds. And this will certainly help you um, put money towards your extra guests by doing this. Booking flights, we encourage you to book your flights early and we have a recommended travel agent that we use. Here is her details, Ellie. She speaks Chinese as well, which is fantastic. Um, so it makes life very easy for those, our Chinese um, distributorship. Um, now, I, I was looking at flights only the other day and at the moment, October flights for uh, you know Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne, there's some really good deals going on anywhere between $300 and $400 each way. But then I looked just to check how and how quickly things are, I guess, moving up in price. I checked for flights in August and September. They are already seven to $800 each way. So this is why I'm actually really stressing if you know you're going on this trip, book your flight now before they go up. Um, because already the couple of months prior to October, the flights are already high. So don't miss out on the great deals that they're offering at the moment. Um, so check it out, whether you book your flights yourself or you go through Ellie who can help you book your um, flights. She can also book great travel insurance as well. And the travel insurance that she has also includes any COVID issues or anything like that, or, you know, if you get COVID over there or whatever kind of thing. So um, definitely worth, you know, going through um, our recommended travel agent. Deadline to RSVP, the Sapphire Leaders Retreat is the 1st of August. The incentive trip is the 1st of July. So please get your RSVPs in by clicking on the link where it says register now and complete that form. Um, even if you have previously registered for the postponed dates of the New Zealand incentive trip, you are required to complete a new registration in order to secure your attendance for the new dates this October. Okay, so I won't be like accepting any of the old registrations. I'm starting from afresh and wanting everyone to register um, via that um, document that's in the email blast. So please do that sooner than later. Also, of course, I'm always available for questions. Please contact me by email or phone, WhatsApp. I'm also available on WeChat. So I'm here for you for anything you need to ask about these trips. But please, this email blast that I have sent out, please do read over everything I have sent you because I think everything you need to know is in this email blast. So there shouldn't be any questions you need to ask. Um, but of course, I'm always here if you do need to ask them. But please read over the information and this will help you to get underway to either you know, help you qualify for the Sapphire Leaders Treat or to finalize all your travel arrangements 
for our upcoming Sapphire Leaders Retreat and Incentive Trip in the beautiful, stunning Queenstown, New Zealand. I can't wait to see you there in October. Take care all and thanks for listening.